In this illustrative tutorial, we're going to take a look at subscript, which is very similar to the superscript tutorial I have on the channel. So if we want to make a subscript 2, that means drop the 2 down and make it smaller, what we need to do first is highlight it. So whatever text you want to subscript, press that T for the type tool, and then highlight the text. So we highlighted the number 2. Now over here in our characters panel, which is in our big properties panel, we can go to the three dots down here to show more options. And we'll see in the middle here, we have a subscript option. We click that and it's a great starting point or for you, maybe it's a great finishing point. It kind of depends on the font and it depends on the look you're going for. So it brought this two down. I'm just gonna grab the selection tool and click off. If you wanna make adjustments to that, we can make up and down adjustments, left and right adjustments and font size adjustments. The first thing that I would do is come back in here with T for the type tool and highlight that too again and decide if this is the size you want or if you want to make it uh, smaller or larger. And we can set the font size in the character panel. So we click up and down. We can hold shift to go up and down in larger increments until we feel like, you know what, that's the size that I wanted. Now the next thing that you can do is the uh, up and down movement. So the uh, baseline shift is what it's called. We click the more dots. And we'll see in here that we can set the baseline shift. So we can go up and down with this baseline shift. And so we can decrease or go down. And I'm holding the shift key to go in 10 point increments. You can also go in one point increments if you really just want to nudge it. But we can go up and down with this. So once you get it to the spot that you want, then that is where you can leave it. Now, if you feel like you need to adjust the left and right movement, we click between the A and the 2, so we get the flashing cursor, and then we come over here to kerning, and that's the spacing between letters. So we're adjusting the spacing between the A and the 2, and we can do the same thing, kind of hold the shift key or don't to nudge it smaller, and then we can just make that adjustment here, left and right. So you can adjust the font size, the up and down placement, the left and right placement, um, after you just click that subscript button, which gives you a good starting point, or for some of you, that might be a quick one button press just to subscript here in Adobe Illustrator.